I'm, I'm keeping the bouncers just above the bottom, bouncing, 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 and then bam, 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 ding, baby, she's on. Oh, Cody, big guy, bud. Okay, hold on. Tournament day number two. Uh, this was the one. This was our chance. This was our opportunity to really go out there and catch the fish that we wanted to catch. Uh, day two start here. Looks like we're going to have a little better conditions today. Uh, we get to leave a little earlier today. We also got to be back a little earlier. Yesterday we had the best luck early in the morning. Hopefully we can get out here to our spot and uh, figure out what we're going to do. People had success bottom bouncing yesterday. They also had success jigging like always. You know, if we go out and we can put a 10 to 15 pound bag up, we might be shocked with the results. Uh, top 20 right now is six pounds. So we'll see what can happen. I'm pretty sure most of the fleet's gonna go south again today. Uh, apparently there was about 75 boats down south. Uh, I know there was some luck up north. Apparently there was a 28 inch cot right where we started yesterday. So a little bit of timely misfortune there. We'll see what we can get going and hopefully we can come out with something good to show you guys. Uh, day two started out great. Uh, we started off mid lake. We saw what the wind was doing. We were moving with the wind, uh, moving up along the bank. We probably trolled bottom bouncers for, I don't know, probably two and a half miles. Uh, all the way up shore for maybe the first two and a half hours out of the day. Oh, how are you now? All <laughs> good and you? All right, guys, the old TJCJ right now. Come on. Throwing that three quarters ounce all the way up on the bank and then pull it back. You want to take that really expensive jig and put it into the rock. <laughs> That's the goal here, guys. We're looking to make a money, money pot today. And then we ended up hooking up on one walleye, I believe it was 15 and a half inches and we ran into another one, I think it was 10 inches, so we had to throw that one back, unfortunately. I have not put a weighable walleye in the boat. That's two tournaments in a row I haven't put one in the boat, day one. Not a real good feeling. Not impressive. Not impressive at all. Call yourself a circuit angler, I don't think so. Ooh. Okay, dude, we got waves bucking into the shore here. We gotta, we gotta clap one. We gotta go mid buck, half clap, send one to the shore. So, kind of a slow morning. I haven't really seen anyone else catch fish. We haven't fished by anyone else for the most part, so. Uh, we're putting in some dime, so stay tuned, bites. Hopefully we can get on them. But we did find a couple walleyes on that bank, not the size or the amount of fish we were looking for, but the weather was kind of making some changes, and Cody and I were talking about what's gonna be the next move? Where's gonna be our next spot? You know, what's our next, what's our next move here? We are getting closer to midday decided that we needed to switch options. Me and Rush kind of talked it over to figure out what our next move was going to be. Get it. So we decided to pick up almost immediately and head back to this, the one spot we knew there was fish. We decided we'd go try that spot that we caught the big fish and we heard of another guy catching a big fish at uh, our spot. We had success. Uh, and about halfway th across the lake, we saw that the wind had pretty much shifted 180 degrees and was blowing perfect right into the rocks, right to where we needed it to. Waves picked up, current picked up, and we talked about it was going to be a good scenario once we got to the point. We knew the location. We knew that the waves were going to be crashing in. Um, we got over there. We saw a spot we needed to start. We picked out a route. I decided I was going to drive the boat and Rush was going to do most of the fishing. He was standing on the back. Uh, we were trolling two bottom bouncers. We got hung up almost immediately, had to reel everything up and make a brand new pass at the whole cliff face. Instead of just rolling through, we knew it was a good enough spot that we should just start over. We cruised back, got us on the same spot. And I believe we were trolling. We had a leech on one side, we had a worm on the other and just had a dead stick hanging out the front, pulling a jig with a twister. And I said, man, just control this boat, kick that back engine on and keep her straight. And I'm gonna sit in the back here and hold these two freaking rods. 
because I got a feeling. I just got a feeling there's a big one in here somewhere. Saw a little mud line, saw a foam line, and we decided to work that up to the point. Uh, and that first pass, we made it 10, 15 minutes. I think we were trolling, you know, about a mile an hour. I think we were in, in that 8 to 10 foot range, bouncing back and forth. And uh, it got to the end of the point there, and I know I said to Cody, this just, this is mind-boggling, because I'm surprised we haven't hooked up on one yet. And then out of nowhere, we're trolling. I'm, I'm keeping the bouncers just above the bottom, bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And then bam, 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 ding, baby, she's on. Rush comes up, got a fish on. I was right at the spot that we thought was going to be the hookup. Just so happened to be. Uh, I took one pull. We had to kind of maneuver around the point a little bit. There was some rocks that were pretty shallow that came out on the point. Just had to keep us off of that. Absolute shit show. Uh, we handled it pretty good though. And uh, it was a great teamwork, great effort all around to get that fish in the boat. Uh, but yeah, that was that was the PB. That was the biggest one I've ever caught, uh, right up there, 28 and three quarters. And it uh, that was the fish that we were looking for. That was the fish that we were talking about day one and the start of day two. We were in the contention for big walleye at that point. We knew we had a shot. Ended up getting one of the daily prizes as well for weight turned in in a day. Uh, we ended up also winning an award for jumping 56 spots. Uh, the Cooler Under Pressure Award from Deadeye and Justin Osborne with Permafrost Coolers. Um, hell of a gift, couldn't have been happier. Uh, we also managed to end up in 24th. We can't complain after being in 80th place after day one. We knew we had a game plan. We went out. We accomplished it. We told ourselves multiple times it was one fish that could do it for us. We knew Canyon Ferry had it in them. Luckily, we got one pre-fish and knew it was possible. And even luckier that we caught the second one on day two of the actual tournament. Look what it did for us. I mean, one fish, one bite. You can't go wrong with that. You know, overall, it was a great tournament. We had a bunch of fun. A ton of fish were caught all four days. Pre-fishing, you can't complain, though. We were catching trophy trout, and Canyon Ferry, it's got a lot to it. You know, you can go there, you can fish, you can go shallow, you can go deep. Anything you want to fish for, they got trout, they got walleye, they got perch. Um, we didn't end up catching any perch, but, you know, the fish that we caught... You couldn't be upset with. 
I caught my personal best at 28 and a half, and I believe Rush got his at 28 and three quarters. So it was a great tournament all around. Uh, biggest one I've ever fished. I know that's the biggest one Cody's ever fished. It was a great tournament. The Canyon Walleye, the Canyon Ferry Walleye Festival was an absolute riot. Uh, we'll be back again next year, and uh, this is just a start. This is our rookie season. We got one more tournament left, and uh, stoked to get out there next year. Hell Creek's going to be fun. we got to get up there, do a little pre-fishing. I know the Deadeye Boys have been just absolutely crushing it. And uh, I know the Governor's Cup is this weekend, and that's going to be an absolute riot. So going to have to stay tuned for that one. But uh, that's all she wrote, boys.